Caitlin David said he knew he was going somewhere and he did rounding the bases on a Friday and stopping in Queens. We got a deal. David Robertson heading to South Florida for two prospects, two rookie league teenagers. We don't know what they will be, but David, gosh, Ron Darling is joining us now a stalwart at the back end. As we say good morning to you, you have watched him up yeah. close and he has pitched some major innings for them. You know, he, he's going to a young team and I'll say this about David Robertson, whether it's the team bus or uh, the dugout, whether it's in the clubhouse, he walks in with unbridled enthusiasm, Ooh. like he's a 25-year-old kid. He loves being at the ballpark. He knows he's in the fall of his career, so he's trying to lap up every single second of being on that mound and being competitive. And I I'm just saying, they they got a really good person. They got a really good pitcher having yeah. a great year, and um, that's a good that's a good move for the Marlins. I like the Marlins adding right here, yeah. giving Skip Schumacher a chance at the back end. They've been good. They're going to pitch their way to the postseason potentially. I think. For me, the phone's ringing off the hook today if you're Billy Epler. For Because I can't yeah. believe you're yeah. punting. For who? <laughs> Verlander Why? and Verlander. Scherzer. I'm calling on everybody. It, it, They're all up. I can't believe in yeah. this market, you said it, with the highest payroll in the history of the sport, you're going to reverse field and trade David Robertson for an 18 and a 19 it, year It's old. not only that, that you're trading him three or four days before the trade deadline. If that is the case, then you're right. Everyone is calling today and said, well, I didn't know. Oh, I want Verlander. Okay, I want to know what, what Ken is doing. I want to know what they're all doing. Tommy Pham. Tommy, Tommy Pham. Pham. Just how about the idea that not just that they're selling, they just sold within the division to right. the Marlins. Yeah. Like, just run the clock back. Spring training. Did you imagine that sort of thing? Well, that's was a good point. Yeah. Wow. If someone would have said, oh, David Robertson and is going to be going yeah. to a division rival a few days before the deadline. And moving up in the standings. Yeah. To the Marlins. Yeah. Okay, let, let's, Ryan, I'm, we're glad you're, you're here, as always. But especially today, because of what went down yesterday in St. Louis between the Cubs and the Cardinals. Ian Happ is at the plate. He's got the long backswing. Yeah. It hits Wilson Contreras. And then Miles Michaelis hits Ian Happ. Ultimately, he's ejected. Ali Marmol ejected. What did you make of what happened? Well, you know, there is a rule. And, and Dero, I'm sure you know this. Uh, Jason, you know it as well is that there is a rule the umpires can go to. If they deem the person uh, pitcher was trying on purpose to hit the hitter, that gives them leeway to throw Which he out. was. Which he was. What the thing that needed to happen for Miles there, he needed to hit him with the first pitch. Yeah. Because if he hit him with the first pitch, so it would have been a warning. He would have yeah. stayed in the game. It would have been all hunky-dory. But he missed on the first pitch. That caused all this ruckus. I, I, I think to take all of this stuff just one more step further, should there be a penalty? on hitters who that's interesting catches. wow and it seems to be the same kind of guys right that one arm finish high boom I know Ian Happ's not trying no, to of hit course his old not. teammate of course. But, yeah. but it does happen quite a bit I, I think for me here's the game within the game right let Ian Happ knew he was get, he turned his tush yeah. before the ball even got there <laughs> I mean after this one where he gets drilled you'll see it he turns his tush right into it like hey let me take my medicine I know they're going to hit me and I'm going to go to first base the only but problem is, is the umpire. You can't do that. Yeah. You can't do that. I, look, we play this game on MLB Now. I'm on that show all the time. Was he up to no good? He was. Yeah, he yeah. was up to no good. He t he totally got drilled on purpose. The umpires are are empowered to eject pitchers who do that. It's pretty much that simple. It's not only empowered. I, I think they'll hear from the league yeah. and the yeah. league office unless they do something. And because how the umpire is looking at it, not only did he hit him. But he threw at him twice. By the way, That's Cubs just way. Cubs just four back of a wild card. I know. Spot. I was going to say. You were asking me what they need. Yeah. They need to keep the guys they currently have. There the you go. Romans of the world and the Bellingers. The Bellinger okay. has been awesome. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. He turned a, a, a three six three double play yesterday on his knees. Gold Glover at every position. He's raking. I was watching the batting order yesterday and the OPS. It just stands out yeah. among the rest for Cody Bellinger. Can I mention something on them? Yeah. Uh, I, I think they should. Bye. They should go for it because yeah. of a couple things. They're 28 and 12 this year against teams with losing records. They've got one of the easiest schedules mm -hmm. left in the game. They're okay. playing White Sox, Interesting. Tigers, Royals, 
Rockies, I like Pirates, it, 21 times. Wow. They're going to be singing Go Cubs Go. Yeah. <laughs> is there, not, is there hey, nothing they better? They can sing it. I they know the words. There's it's nothing too. better. We've been looking at both those teams, the Cubs and the Cardinals, and wondering what they're going to do at the deadline. And the same goes for San Diego. You have taught me many things over the course of working together. But you say when you're 10 or 11 games back, I don't care where you are, that's tough. Two and weeks' we have, worth is a we, lot. We have under 60 games to play. Okay. <laughs> I get it. I picked them to win the World Series, and I bite the bullet, and I ride or die with you the entire year. And I'm going to continue to say There's that. Don't you pull what the New York Mets are doing. Oh, okay. Now. All right. No, 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 no. We're in. We're in this. We got Soto for another year. I'm sorry. You're on. You can't now. AJ Preller can't. But prove they're a half game in front of the Mets. Mets. He doesn't <laughs> value prospects. He's traded everyone he's ever had that was in his minor league system for big league guys. He likes the stars. Keep it rolling. Bob, Listen, get him hot. Just because he's listening on Soto and everybody else, yeah. don't get too worked up. I, I, talking to other teams that talk to AJ, he just confuses them because he likes to be in on everything. Buy, sell, neither, both. Yeah. You know, he. there's no telling what he might do. And that's not just us. That's the 29 other teams. They don't will, have a read on it. I will say this, though. Added the, that group, and I know Snell's a free agent. Yeah. Hater. Hater, Hater is a free agent. He's a free agent, too. The one I would entertain moving is Soto. Mm -hmm. Because you could get the most back from I don't feel like he's ever, as good as his numbers are, 918 OPS. It just doesn't seem like it's fit. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't fit there. Back. And, and it's not only And that. I think they got enough offense to, to carry without him if they, if they got I was just going to say, come back to me. I'm a Nationals fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He it, would. It's, it's he should have never left. It's hard to see the future, four, though. Darn it. Isn't it hard to see the future of Machado and Junior and Bogarts and that, like, how does he fit? Like, how do you pay? Uh, unless all Peter Sider just wants to keep yeah. writing checks, they don't have the revenue stream I agree. to no. support that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Padres could trade Soto to Washington for uh, C.J. Abrams, <laughs> <laughs> James Wood. Very good. All right, you uh, you gave us the trivia question. Re get, read the question yeah, again, and, and again. what do we got for an answer? All right, uh, Otani and that Aaron Judge guy are two of the five players in baseball with 100 homers, 2021 through 2023. You need to name the other three who have 100 homers. I, I, I'm going to say Arenado and Jordan. Yeah, I, Pete I, Alonso. I, yeah, I see one. Pete Alonso is one. Alonso. Alonso. He's over two. Oh, uh, dang Matt it. Olson's got to be one. Matt Olson. Matt Olson. Nice. And nice. Kyle Ball. Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber is the wow, other. Wow, look at that. That is Ron Darling. Yeah, there you go, Ron. Yeah. They're all of them. Uh, and yeah. at least. And at least. That's all what the same I had to do Central Scribs yesterday. He cursed. I did curse. He did. I knew that was there. I knew that was there. Uh, look at this. Players with at least 100 homers the last three seasons. That is quite a list there. Shohei, Judge at the top, and some big-time sluggers right behind Shohei's him. Shohei's done what Aaron Judge has done.